What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman here for Stochastic.com, back again with the process. It is Monday, August 29th. Woo! Good weekend at DFS. I was largely away from it, although I was sweating my golf over the weekend. I had some excellent Liverpool soccer to watch on Saturday. Big 9 nothing victory. That was pretty fun. But what we're going to do today, we're going to... We're going to do it sort of like we did with baseball recently. I want to look at where the 150 maxers in the big contests were in comparison to the 150 maxers in the mini max. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about my results. I think I had a pretty good golf week. Just didn't get the pieces to go together, but I, I am very happy with what I had available. Um... And then we're going to take a look at today's baseball contests. Uh, nothing too crazy. Standard issue day. Uh, contests are a little bit smaller because there's a monster contest out there today. And um, I think they're just trimming down everything else. But there's a milli out there for baseball today. Anyway, before we get started, like, subscribe, notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. Basketball is coming soon, folks. Not too much longer. What is that? Six weeks or so until the process legitimately turns back into a basketball prep show. I can't wait. I hope you guys are feeling the same. Go sign up at Prize Picks, by the way. That's the other big piece of this intro. Uh, they are the presenting sponsor of this show. If you use the promo code AWESEMO, A W E S E M O, when you sign up, you will get up to $100 on your first deposit. So click the link in the description. Use that promo code, get that deal. Who doesn't like free money? I know I do. Now, first thing we're gonna look at for yesterday, um, just quickly show my lineups here. This was the Minimax, um, 76 lineups of my 150 cashed. Uh, I was up basically 70 bucks, which is, I mean, 2Xing the Minimax for all intents and purposes. Close enough. In the birdie, which was the $3.20 max, 16 of my 20 lineups cashed, $96 in profit. So uh, once again, more than 2 x the birdie. The only bummer for me, this is how good it went. Um, I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 lineups in the top 1% of the mini max. I... I mean, I was looking good pretty much the entire time. Uh, I was in third, I believe, after Thursday. But just had a lot of very, very live bullets, none of which ended up having the pieces put together to really get me to a score that would change my day. Um, winning score ended up being 633. Or my, my highest score was 633. Needed to get to 655 to ship it. Uh, Sean Smith, by the way, stochastic sub. So I'm just knocking on the door here on the outside. Kind of a bummer. Can't ask for much more though. 10 1% lineups, that is a, that, that's a win no matter how you slice it. I, I could not be happier with the way that my golf lineups came out. For the birdie, I had two into the top 1%. This is one where I was, I was very high for most of it and then uh, started to tumble just a little bit. Rom's performance late really didn't help. As we look at my exposures, they're gonna be split out here to the right. We're gonna talk about those in a sec because I wanna look at this first, sharps and squares. So we talk about this for baseball and now I wanna talk about it for golf. This is the 150 max exposure for the pitch and putt, which is was the $20 big contest. And then for the mini max, which I was in. And you'll see a couple things very clearly, one, Scotty Scheffler was dramatically under-owned by the lower dollar contest. 6.8% more ownership for Scheffler in the pitch and putt than the mini max. Um, people likely just getting away from him because of his price tag. That does not appear to be the correct answer in the lower dollar contest. Should have been looking for more Scheffler. Only other two guys that were like majorly underrepresented, Brian Harmon, and Tom Hoagie, both guys slightly underowned in the mini max in comparison to pitch and putt. Scheffler, Harmon, Hoagie, they were like the three sort of sharpest plays. And then the chalk should have been slightly concentrated more. Wise, McElroy, JT Poston. Now, the opposite side of this, uh, people played the worst plays 
a little bit too frequently in the mini max so if we want to say that that was the gala that was likely the worst option you had in the mini max not great cam young not great sam burns not great tony finau not great adam scott at the top was probably a little bit over owned but as you work your way down we saw a lot more it, it separated a lot in the pitch and putt it was a lot more chalk concentration not as much of the garbage at the bottom mini max sort of flattened the exposures out so that's something to pay attention to i have not looked at what's about to show up now I don't know what my exposures are going to look like in comparison to this data. So I'm going to pull this over here and then we're going to shoot that over there. I'm going to minimize the baseball contest for a second. Bring this bad boy here and we'll look at my exposures. So we will start with sort of the best plays. Let's do that. I think that'll be easiest. Scotty Scheffler ended up being... Why did... Okay, so what's really interesting, Scheffler was 15.7% owned in the Minimax. 150 maxers had him less than that. I had 19.3, which is basically where we were for the pitch and putt. So I was a little bit over the mark. I got enough Scheffler, and I guess that's where I can be happy. The other good plays, Brian Harmon... I had 21% Brian Harmon, so I was a little light. Not the best. Thumbs down for me. Tom Hoagie, 17% owned in the Minimax. He was 19% owned in the Minimax for 150 maxers. I had 41%, and considering he put up 94 fantasy points at 5K, unquestioned great play. So, yay to me on that one. Call it a push on Scheffler, a slight negative to Harmon, and a, like, as many thumbs up as possible to the hoagie man. Now we'll work our way down for the opposites. Adam Scott. Scott, 31% owned overall in the Minimax. He was 25% owned by 150 maxers. I had zero. Can't consider that anything other than a win. Tony Finau, the next not great play. I had 9%. He was 24.5% owned by 150 maxers. I'm very happy with that play. Cam Young, next one up. Now, this one not going in my direction. Uh, I played a little bit more Cam Young than the field. I got to 25%. Solid-ish negative for that one. Burns. I believe I had zero. Yes, I had zero. Sam Burns, not a great play. I'll take it. Thigala, the worst play that you could have gotten to in the Minimax. I had zero. I can't be mad here. I think that I put this together pretty well, and I think that I got paid out for it in the most part. I would have liked to get a little bit uh, higher up in general, but if I'm going to hit 10 one percenters, if I'm going to be largely winning these games of did I play the right guys? I really cannot be mad. Highest exposed golfer was Matthew Fitzpatrick. It was looking good for a bit, tumbled a bit later. Decky, um, again, was looking pretty good and then kind of tumbled late. Uh, shot a 70 on Sunday. Unfortunately, that guy was coming off of a incredible 63 the day before. So he was live heading into Sunday. Corey Connors was not good. That one, that one sucked. Uh, but Wise was great. Im was great. Hoagie was great. Uh, I had 37% Rory. I cannot be mad there. JT, not really what I wanted. Rom was the one that really hurt me. Uh, his driving in the third round, I believe he lost a couple. It was like his worst driving round in years. That one stung. Especially coming off of his second round where he got himself back into contention. Ultimately... You know, like you needed Rory, you needed Sanjay. Um, Max Homa was the guy that probably bridged that gap, 7,500. I had more than 2x the field of Max Homa. So that worked out pretty well for me. The guy that hurt me the most was probably Xander, but that didn't really matter all that much once you got to Rory, Sanjay, and JT. Seb Straka would have been nice. I didn't have him at all. That was another score that was going to pay you off quite a bit. Ultimately, 
I could not be happier with golf. Uh, 10 1% lineups is a, as big of a win as you could possibly have. Multiple unduped lineups. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five of the 10 lineups that I had that were one percenters were unduped. Love it. So golf, complete and total success. Can't ask for anything more other than the fact that I would have liked to finish a little bit higher than 67. That's all I got for golf though. Uh, I hope you guys played some golf. We, get, we take like two or three weeks off of golf before we get back to it. I'm excited for that. For baseball today, there's not a lot to talk about. So DraftKings is running a milli. It's like a $2,500 to get in milli. So I don't even have it on here right now. But they did trim these contests a little bit. Like the relay throw last Monday was 325,000. It's down to 300,000 for today. Uh, the batter's eye is down from 100K to 80K. Most of the rest of these contests are the same. So we know what we're doing here. It's 150 into the mini max. It should be the skipper. And that would just put me at 100 on the dot. I think what I'm gonna do is the bass hit and the chin music. I just want more entries for right now, but you guys know the drill. Play the four seamer. It's the best contest you're gonna find if you're trying to play for limited dollars. 80 bucks to max it, four, four bucks an entry, 20 entries. It's gonna be the softest competition you're going to find. That is the best contest that you can enter. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. I just wanna play 150 max because it makes it easier for me to talk about it on a show which I will be on for the MLB strategy show with Adam today from 11 to 12. And then uh, live before lock tonight, 5.30 to 6.40. So that's where we stand for baseball contests. I wanted to make sure I gave the golf review because it went well. And we're not gonna talk about golf for a couple weeks. We're gonna look into some football later this week. Uh, that actually might be tomorrow since we won't have a, or that or we're looking at uh, the live tour. But we're going to need to fill in a little bit. Maybe we'll take a look at some preseason uh, showdown contests for the NFL. Lots to dig into. Let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see. If you guys want to see any prep work for the NFL, please let me know. We've got a lot of time. We've got six, seven weeks before the NBA season starts, before this becomes us working through our NBA rotations each morning. So if you've got something you want to see over the next six weeks, please let me know. Otherwise, go sign up at Prize Picks using the promo code AWESEMO, A-W-E-S-E-M-O. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace.